besties, it's Diana, and today I'm back with the most majestic, beautiful, amazing, incredible build I have ever done on my channel. And it's all thanks to the new items, I will say. This is from my brand new island, Milkweed. It is a Hugo Farmcore island, which I will be filling with all the cozy farmness, but I'm also going to be experimenting a little bit with making a Scandinavian castle sort of entrance reclaimed as some sort of farmer's marketplace and a canal and um, kind of make it into like a town center if you will I don't know I just finally had my hands into the, all the castle wall items and I really wanted to kind of give that a go and give it my own little touch but if you're new here and would love to see more from me make sure to hit the subscribe button hit the little bell to be notified for whenever I post and also give this little video a like so that I could help share it on the interwebs but uh anyway let's get started as you can see I'm just filling this entire area with the light dirt path and that is just because it's going to be the base for my plaza so it really just depends on how much space you're going to make in fact i do go ahead and add more to the area as i go but this is definitely a really great place to start and then from there i go ahead and fill this whole area in with this beautiful tile i love the choice of this tile in particular because it has a little bit of an orange tone to it so it goes really well with all of my orange fruit trees and also all of the browns in the autumn grass and this is what it ends up looking like this is just the base for my plaza here once i'm done with that i do go ahead and add a little bit of a contrast tile in between just to kind of like make it a little bit more interesting and break it up a little bit um, I really like this tile. It has a nice little pink tulip to it and it's very soft and vintage looking. And then I'm going to go ahead and start off with the castle gate, the castle towers. I do go ahead and add the medieval walls a little bit back just because I really want to further add to that dimension and not make it look so flat as you enter into the island. And then to add a little bit more structure, I do go ahead and place the pergolas just behind the castle walls. That also does kind of make it for a makeshift hallway, so if you want to walk through it, you can within the structure. It's really cool. I had some fairy lights, a milk can, and a castle gate behind it just to kind of like further add more structure and realism to the entire area. So here I'm just kind of playing around also with kind of deciding whether or not I want to use the castle walls or the medieval walls. I go back to the entrance because I do want to add a little bit more of an entrance to the entrance of the castle. I've added the windmill, some little flowers on the dirt path, some wheat fields, this little topiary in the fall colorway. And I really love adding all these packed wheat fields because it is sort of indicative of the rest of the island, you know, kind of giving it a little bit more of that farmy element traded the windmill for a tree and I added this wooden box with some newspaper delivery here just at the front so that it looks like it's just been dropped off by some sort of mailman in a boat overseas or something. <laughs> I'm adding this little dirt path in here as well because I wanted to kind of add in a hidden bike trail. Of course I want to fill my pockets up with wheat field. I feel like the wheat fields have been totally taking over my life since I started this island. It's kind of crazy just how many you need to fill up a space. Add the windmill back again because I think it was really the better option but then I continue going in with the wheat field again. I make the dirt path a little bit shorter because I decided that this would be better off having it lead into a picnic and I love having it just below that tree there so it can kind of give it more of a cozy element. added a fence as sort of a makeshift window to the castle and a little veggie basket here on the picnic so it's not too bare and then in between all the wheatgrass i added this bunny garden decoration which is just the cutest little touch but um now that we're done with the front we want to go back into the castle and play around a little bit with some of the items to sort of um, make it flow a little bit better you can see i add more dirt path on the sides which i'm going to just consistently keep doing throughout the entire build just so that it kind of like fills in underneath all of the items it's just for consistency I add two towers next to the fence, a castle wall here just to kind of create more of a enclosed space in there, and then I go ahead and do it on the other side. 
Then in one of the hallways, I did go ahead and add this yuzu tub as a little bit of a finishing touch, but then I just continue on with my dirt path because here I'm going to start off by creating my canal. So just kind of want to have it go straight across, but of course I do have my original river there in the way, so I kind of go shimmying in between the two. I close off my original river and then I go back into my canal, which I do just kind of want straight across. I want it to look very uniform since this is more of like a, a structured area. Probably throughout the rest of the island, I'll have more windy streams, but in this area, I definitely wanted to have it more structured since I am going to be adding more bridges in here. And at the beginning, I make this canal four wide because I thought it would just kind of give it a little bit more presence and, um, just continue closing off that river waterway. Don't really know what I'm gonna end up doing with that, but we'll see how we connect to the rest of the rivers as we go. I do wanna add a little bit more to the other side of the canal, so I'm just filling in the rest of this area with more dirt path, which I will go ahead and just fill in with more tile. This is pretty straightforward, honestly. It's a no-brainer. It's really easy to just kind of like go through the notions of filling in the space as much as you can. I add some more castle walls here on the side, castle towers, and then I fill in the space with more tiles. I sort of have this habit of going back and forth when I'm decorating, so please excuse that. When we're done with that, I do go ahead and hop across and use this castle wall as a marker for the center of my plaza, I guess. It, it kind of helps align with the entrance as well. And I choose this wooden bridge as my canal bridge. I did notice that I thought it was a little bit too wide and I could definitely benefit from maybe having it be three wide for a river instead. So that way I have more space for actual items within the canal and uh, just go ahead and put that there. I love the way this looked. I thought the color of this bridge was perfect for the rest of the area, the tile, the bricks. It just goes really well. And then after that, I went ahead and added two more. Time traveled a little bit. And of course, once that's done, gotta fill in the space again with my stone. And then here, I'm starting to try to figure out where I wanna place my bistro tables. I customized it with this beautiful picnic blanket code and um, it looks really nice in Gigum and works perfectly with the rest of all the castle wall items. I'm grabbing a couple of things like the pergolas and the plant partitions and I did wanna extend the dirt path a little bit more because here is where I'm going to start placing the shops and um, the hallways that I want to add into the back part of the canal. Added a little pergola just behind the castle wall there as a way to walk through, of course. I started off by adding the wooden bookshelf just behind it so that it looks kind of like a bookstore. You might have seen this actually in my inspiration video. I actually didn't even know how to incorporate that into my island until now. I did place the bistro table down, but I decided against it because I really like that original gingham one that I had before. So I'm probably gonna pop back into Harv's Island and fix up the wood a little bit, change the pattern, and I'm extending the dirt path here once again because I really wanted to create more stalls so that it's kind of like little nooks of different shops within the farmer's market. Once I'm done with that, I add the castle walls, the plant partition just to add a little bit more plant life, the pergolas of course to give more depth, and I really like this display case because once you add baked goods or you could even add clothes in it to just make it look like there's a shop in there, and um, I decided to move the bookshelf once again and kind of like play around a little bit with where I'm going to be placing all of my shops. I might actually go back in and add more shops to this area as I go later Later on because I think that I um, don't want to stop it too. I think this is a really cute idea of creating sort of like just little holes in the wall within my plaza. Add a little tile once again here as I've extended all the stone, a pergola, some castle towers, more castle walls, just to create more of that structure. The medieval walls on the sides because it has a really nice shingled roof. I moved the display table over because I decided that I actually really wanted to make that center area open so that it could be into a transition of the farmland later on. And um, kind of moving in the plant partitions, sort of playing around with the space a little bit more to give it some life. 
added a box, some bread, some more baked goods inside because I used to have like a little box in there, magazine stand, a little sign, another milk can, and I got my bistro tables. So I just sort of spread them around within the plaza. Here I'm just finishing off the back side of the castle walls because I want this to feel very finished, you know, no open gaps, no open holes. I want it to feel like an actual structure. Did a little walk through my canal and I noticed that a lot of spaces looked a little bit empty so I go in and add just some finishing details, the hanging clothing rack, some bottles on a table, a little newspaper, and uh, I noticed there was a little bit of an inconsistency with my walls, so I go back in and fix that up a little bit with some more walls there. Some twinkling lights in between the halls just to give it somewhat more of a, an inviting feeling into the space. And then I finally get my hands on the street lamp with banners, which I do go ahead and customize with this adorable hanging plant pattern it honestly just looks very realistic too which i love i have this little scooter a uh, mannequin and a little bandana just on top of the clothing rack so what do you think do you like it do you like the way it turned out i for one i'm obsessed with it i can't wait to have friends come over and take pictures with me and maybe have some of you guys come over during streams i love doing that over on my twitch which is diana dailies and if you want to see me kind of fill in the marketplace a little bit more with food items and more stalls make sure you check those out because i'm definitely going to be doing a lot more with this entrance i do also happen to stream on youtube as well so you can catch me on mondays at 2 p.m eastern time and and uh, yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching and sharing your light and joy with me. I really appreciate you all so much and your presence. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.